Hello viewers, welcome to another tutorial by Project Maker. In this video, I will be demonstrating you how you can create an iris classification model using machine learning and python. So without wasting any time, let's start. So as you can see, I have moved to my destination folder and we will be implementing this project in Jupyter Notebook. So for that, we will be opening Jupyter Notebook in this folder. So to open Notebook in Jupyter folder, I will just open command prompt in this window and just type Jupyter Notebook. So now let's wait for Jupyter Notebook to open. And as you can see, the Jupyter Notebook has opened in this folder. Now let's open the dataset file. So now let's understand the code. Uh, you can firstly you can download this dataset from this URL. Don't worry, I will give this dataset link as well as the source code in the description so you can access this code from there. So now let's understand the code first and then try to implement it. So now we will be requiring some modules for our operation. So the modules are pandas for importing the dataset numpy to deal with arrays. Matplotlib for data visualization, C1 library for data visualization purpose and we will be using logistic regression in this project. So next step is fetching data from the CSV file. So for that I have used pt.tilt.csv method which will fetch the data from the CSV file and after that I have just simply printed the first 5 values using data.head command as you can see. So as you can see there are some classes and some values in this data set so using this we will be making our prediction model so let's get more information about this data so i have used data.describe command for more information so this command has written the count of the data so there are 150 rows in the data the mean of first row is 75 and so on the standard the minimum value in the first row the maximum value in first row to gain information of the data structure i have written the command data.info so as you can see the column id has 150 rows and there is no null value in it and the data type is integer 64 so in this way the details of every column is displayed in front of you so as you can see there is no null value in a data set so which is very good for us uh, in next step we will be identifying how many classifications are required for making classification in this data set as you can see there are only three types of classification which is iris setos or iris versicular and iris virginica so this data is present in the last column of this csv file as you can see so now let's visualize the data so i use a c1 package for this purpose uh, the c1 package has facet grid method which will help us to visualize data and as you can see the visualization result so you can clearly understand that it is very easy to identify the iris setos of classification because it is far away from the remaining two. So now let's create a classification model. So to create classification model we have to take the first four rows in a variable and the last row in second variable for classification purpose. For making classification model I will store these four column in one variable as you can see and the last column in y variable and i will use logistic regression method which i have imported above and i will just pass simply these two variables for creating a logistic regression model and as you can see the logistic regression model is successfully created now if you want to find the accuracy of this model there is a simple inbuilt method which is model.score to find the accuracy so i have used the same method and passed the x and y variable here and it has written me the output at 0 0.97 which means our model is 97 percent accurate now there is one more way using which we can get the accuracy of the model so for that i will just store the y variable in actual after that let's generate a classification report so for that i have used matrix model of scln package for generating the classification report so i have just written matrix of classification report and pass actual and predicted value here now this is the report which is generated by classification report uh, as you can see iris setos size precision one recall one and f1 score one which means the accuracy of iris setos classification is 100 percent and so on 
now we will be also creating a confusion matrix to understand this accuracy of model better so for that i use confusion matrix me method of matrix module and pass the actual and predicted here as you can see so the values of the iris setos are type are 50 so which means that all the values are identified model correctly so that's why this type is giving us 100 percent accuracy as we move ahead for iris versus color so as you can see the number is declined to 47 which means that the model has identified 47 details correctly and just failed for the three that's why the accuracy of this model has dropped down and for the last one which is of iris virginica it has identified 49 correctly and just failed for one and after that if we want to pass any other value outside the data set for making the prediction we will be using the model.predict method as we use above and just pass our own values in 2d array as you can see and just check the result so as you can see i already passed some values here and just printed the output and the output is iris setosa which means that for these details the class is iris setosa so in this way we can pass multiple values to this model and it will automatically classify it into different types which are setosa versicolor and virginica so in this way we have successfully built a logistic regression model for iris dataset classification so here comes the end of this video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends thanks for watching this video